The Scottsdale Travel Chick here, and we are visiting the island of Oahu. Oahu has some beautiful beaches and incredibly lush rainforests. But in this video, I'm going to give you a tour of Pearl Harbor, and I'm going to tell you everything you need to know in this guide. So where exactly is Pearl Harbor? It's located about 8 miles north of Honolulu. You can either take an Uber or my favorite is taking the local bus, which will cost you $2.50 per person. If you decide to drive your own vehicle, parking will cost you $7. Okay, so let's get going. Pearl Harbor is one of Oahu's most popular places to visit. In fact, if you search on TripAdvisor, it comes up first on things to do in Honolulu. If you are planning on visiting Pearl Harbor, plan to spend a full day to see everything. You'll be able to learn about the history of Pearl Harbor, USS Arizona, USS Bowfin Submarine, the Battleship Missouri, and a ton more. Before we get started, let me start out by telling you a little bit about the history. Before Pearl Harbor was known for the attack of 1941, it was established as a naval base in the early 1900s. Then, from 1931 to 1941, tensions were high between the U.S. and Japan. So much so that December 7, 1941, Japan bombed Pearl Harbor with 102 ships sitting in the bay. And that brought America into World War II. And in 1962, the Pearl Harbor Memorial was dedicated. It's a beautiful memorial for all the soldiers that paid the ultimate price. Okay, let's talk about how to see the park. And let's start out by telling you some must-dos on this day trip. Only bring your camera, hat, and sunscreen with you. Otherwise, you'll be waiting in the line to check out a locker to put your bag in. Cost is $5. It's really not worth the long wait. As you walk into Pearl Harbor, directly in front of you is a desk to rent headphones and get a more detailed narrated tour. The costs will vary depending on what you want to see and do. What's nice about Pearl Harbor is that most of it's free, so you can walk around, read the plaques, and go through the History Museum. There's so much to read and learn about. The Memorial Park itself features oral histories and exhibits that incorporate the site of the attack, which can educate you on the buildup, events of, and aftermath from the attack of Pearl Harbor. There is so much to see in Pearl Harbor, so I'm going to break it down. Let's talk about the USS Arizona first. To see the USS Arizona, you should expect to spend about two hours. Reservations are strongly suggested. You can book those online. I will include the links in the description below. The tour begins with a 23-minute movie. and then a boat ride out to the memorial that spans over the sunken ship. The USS Arizona marks the final resting place for 1177 sailors and marines killed on the battleship Arizona. From the time you board your boat the time you return you only have 45 minutes so keep that in mind okay next up is the Pacific Fleet Submarine Museum tour the Pacific Submarine Museum and the World War II submarine bowfin this should also take you about two hours. The Bofin survived nine war patrols and carried 80 men on board. 
There's an outdoor exhibit as well and a museum dedicated to the submarine force of the United States. At the Waterfront Memorial, there are monuments to 52 U.S. submarines. More than 3,500 U.S. submariners were lost during World War II. Here is the website to book your tickets to the USS Bowfin and the museum. The Waterfront Memorial again is free. The USS Missouri and the Aviation Museum are both on Ford Island. And to get to Ford Island, you're gonna need to take a bus. The bus leaves every 15 minutes from the visitor center. Once you get to Ford Island, you have three options to choose from for the USS Missouri. Even if you choose the general admission, you should expect to spend about two hours on the battleship. The friendly tour guides will share stories and history of the mighty Mo. They bring history to life. You can also pay an additional fee to understand the heart of Missouri. The guide will talk about more details, like how a ship that is several football fields long can travel at 40 miles an hour. So you're on Ford Island. Don't forget about the Aviation Museum. You should plan for at least one hour to spend at the Aviation Museum. This is a self-guided tour that takes you through two World War II hangars featuring the aircraft that attacked and defended Pearl Harbor in 1941. If you want to do a combination package and go to the USS Missouri as well as the Aviation Museum, then use this website. For an added bonus, you can also go to the top of the tower to see views of Pearl Harbor Battlefield. They only sell 100 tickets per day, so you may want to plan for this ahead of time. There is also a flight simulator, so you can experience the adrenaline of a dogfight. This one has limited space as well, just 150 tickets per day. And tickets must be purchased at the front desk or the kiosk at the Aviation Museum. Oh my gosh, there are just so many ways to see Pearl Harbor. I hope I haven't overwhelmed you. But I have one last tip for you. If you want to see some behind the scenes from the attack in 1941, then book the Ford Island bus tour. Cost is just $1. The tour will take you to the USS Oklahoma and USS Utah Memorials, plus a lot more. This will take approximately 90 minutes. Space is limited, so book ahead of time. Now you can see how you need to spend an entire day at Pearl Harbor. There's so much history out here. So much to see and do and learn. My suggestion is to take your own vehicle to Pearl Harbor or take an Uber or a taxi or even one of the local buses will take you there. That way you can experience all of Pearl Harbor on your own time. And if you decide that you want to do everything that Pearl Harbor has to offer, then choose this package. Before we finish up, let me just say that there are a cafe and snack shops in several locations, as well as a gift shop for those last minute gift ideas. And you might just see some handsome sailors walking by if you want to know more about Oahu, check out our top rated video. Just search Oahu Travel Guide Scottsdale Check. I did want to add an extra bonus here. Since we are from Scottsdale, Arizona, we have a beautiful memorial dedicated to the USS Arizona. Here is a quick walkthrough of that. So if you love history and facts, 
definitely check this out if you're in Scottsdale. It's quite impressive. Anytime we have family or friends staying with us, I love taking them over to the memorial. It's really a beautiful tribute. You will also see breaks between some 335 lit columns. These columns symbolize those who survived the attack and were able to tell the stories of that day. We always love throwing a drone shot in there, so couldn't pass this up. This is our drone shot from above the memorial in Arizona. The columns that outline this memorial mark each of the 1,512 individuals serving aboard the USS Arizona battleship. Together, the columns at the outer edges mark the ship's perimeter, spanning at 608 feet in length and 97 feet wide. So put this one on your bucket list when visiting Arizona. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, see you later.